Are you an independent artist or up and coming music professional who needs to grow their network but doesn't really know how to do so or is just a little anxious at the thought of talking to strangers? If so, this video is for you. Hello again everyone, my name is James Shotwell and this is the Music Biz Channel and today we are talking about networking. In its simplest terms, networking is making connections. It's meeting people, allowing them to get to know you, finding opportunities to build together, or at the very least, helping one another and encouraging one another on your journeys. Now, talking to people is fairly easy. We all do it every single day of our lives, but something weird happens when we have to involve our hopes and dreams. There's something that's very vulnerable about that, and it can make people very nervous, especially if you're like me, somebody who is introverted, prone to anxiety, and doesn't really get too comfortable talking to strangers. But I'm gonna help you. This video is all about helping people who are in that situation. Whether you're a new kid or you're a seasoned professional who still has a hard time putting themselves out there, let's talk about how we can network better moving forward. Now, I have been an anxious person my entire life, and even though I host this channel and I talk to a camera a lot, I get very nervous whenever I'm around people I don't know. And if that's you, you probably look at the idea of networking and get a lot of dread because you don't want to tell people about your hopes and dreams. You're, you're worried if you'll be judged or if they'll think you're silly or maybe they just won't like you. Whatever it happens to be, some leftover childhood trauma stuff about the first day of school. I don't know. Whatever it happens to be, I felt that too and I'm here to help you. And I think the easiest way to do it is to kind of reframe how we think about networking, who we're talking to, what we're doing when we're preparing to network and how we go into these conversations. Because if we have a plan, if we know what we're gonna say, who we're gonna talk to, what we're gonna talk about, if we can get all of that locked in, then there's a lot less mystery to the idea of talking to a person. The idea of networking is no longer sharing a whole bunch of uncertain things. You actually know what you're trying to accomplish, you know what you're going to say, and you go in with a plan so that you can feel confident, come across as confident, and hopefully forge those connections. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is begin by networking with the people that you already know. And maybe that seems a little silly, but let me tell you what I mean. You probably have a lot of friends who also dream about being in the music industry, or maybe just one friend who also loves music as much as you do. That that's where your network starts. I mean, they're inherently already part of your network because you know them, but maybe you haven't really gotten to understand what it is that's motivating them to do what they do. I mean, you know why you want to do it, but what about your friends? And once you understand that, maybe there are opportunities for you to work together to reach your goals, even if they don't necessarily align. Maybe you want to be a manager and maybe somebody else wants to be a publicist. Well, maybe the two of you could find a band you could work with together. Or maybe one's a musician and one wants to work on the business side and there's a relationship that can form there. Maybe you're both bands and you have entirely different sounds but you are both existing in the same region and you have the ability to help one another meet other artists who might be able to work with them in a more cohesive way. Whatever it happens to be, start by networking with your peers. This is not only a good way to strengthen your local community and music scene, but it will also give you a little bit more confidence in talking to strangers because once you get comfortable talking to people, even if they're people you already know about your hopes and dreams, it becomes easier to do that again and again in repetition, which is ultimately the goal of networking. Now, once you get past your local network, it's time to start talking to the people that you don't know. And that, again, is overwhelming because they're strangers. But I'm gonna give you two pieces of advice right now that are gonna make that a little bit easier. For starters, you don't have to just network with anybody. Nobody's forcing you to go to an industry mixer or get into some Facebook group or Discord group or Clubhouse group or AMP group or whatever app you wanna talk about that where people are trying to build communities. You don't have to do that. Networking can be very focused. It can be a very specific action. So if you're a person who doesn't like just talking to random people, maybe what you need to do is make a target list of people that you would like to build relationships with. Ideally, you know, people who have the job that you want, people who work at the company that you want to work for, people who are doing cool stuff that you would like to be associated with. Make a list of those individuals. And once you're done with that, start doing your research. Learn about them, not just who they are and what they do, but learn everything you can about them. Read interviews about them. Them. Look them up, follow them on social media to learn about their hobbies and interests. Get comfortable with knowing them beyond just the thing that attracts you to them on a professional level. Get to know them as human beings that will kind of take them off the pedestal of being an industry god or somebody higher than you and will reduce them to just being a normal human being, which makes them a lot easier to talk to. And once you get to that conversation and you come to them knowing about them and engaging them in conversation, I want you to focus more on listening than speaking because a lot of networking, especially for people in the position of trying to get ahead in the industry is about listening and figuring out where you can be a problem solver. So for example, if I wanted to go up to somebody like, let's say Espo, the head of Warner Music Nashville, and I wanted to talk to him with the hopes of getting a job, I wouldn't necessarily tell him that outright. Instead, 
I would be asking him questions about his job and what he's going through and what he needs and what challenges they face. And the entire time, the gears in my brain would be trying to figure out how I could make a difference, how I could simplify his life, how I could remove one of those barriers, how I could be of benefit to the company as a whole. That way, after our conversation ends and I go and I send a follow-up, which we'll get to in a second, I can actually deliver a suggestion that is actionable. And that when the person interacts with me again, it's not just the same conversation repeating. We're actually moving forward, not just as individuals in a relationship, but on a professional pace as well. And that will make them want to continue working with you. But maybe you're sitting there and you're like, James, I know what I want to do, but I don't know anybody that does it, or I don't know the people in those positions or how to find them. Well, maybe your network does. Remember how we started this? We were talking to our friends and learning what they wanted to do, telling them what we wanted to do. And that's something that you have to continue doing. So for example, if I were to start looking for a job right now, I would tell my closest friends about it. And I would not only tell them I'm looking for a job, I would tell them specifically what job I was hoping to find. That way they could kind of look through their network. Maybe they know somebody at Spotify that could help me get a job in playlisting, or maybe they know somebody at a label that could help me with a &R. Maybe they know a band that needs a merge person or a VIP person or a tour manager or whatever it happens to be and I could get my some experience on the road. Those opportunities are far more likely to come your way through your network and people that you know than blind emailing management companies and artists and labels and so on and so forth hoping to get their attention. Your network will be your first line of defense between you and getting to where you want to go. They are the people that can help push you over that mountain, but only if you keep them informed. But hey, I'm going to be completely honest with you. In a world where you do your research, you make that hit list of people you want to talk to, you get out there, you use your network, there's still going to be times when you find yourself in a situation filled with unpredictable things. Maybe you aren't 100% sure if you know everything about this person that you do about other people. Maybe you're not sure if this person is going to be willing to talk to you about whatever it happens to be. There are a ton of things that you won't be able to predict and won't be able to expect until it's actually happening. And the only advice anyone can give you in this instance is that you have to just find a way to be comfortable with it. There's, there's a certain level of professionalism that comes with networking where people just learn to be comfortable being uncomfortable. It's a thing that happens. It's just like learning that the industry doesn't always run on time. Like I told someone earlier this week, one out of every 20 things in the music business happens exactly the way that it should. And everything else is pretty scattered shot. The normal in music is expecting the unexpected. And the same thing has to happen in networking. You just have to get used to it. There is no cure. There's no pill you can take. There's no day that's going to come when you wake up and you suddenly are just a really good at talking to strangers. It's, it's a skill that you have to develop over time. And unfortunately, the only way to develop it is to do it. But I do want to say one more thing because I know that there are people out there who are watching this video who are just getting started. I mean, bare bones getting started. Maybe they have one song. Maybe they haven't even recorded a song yet. Maybe they just know they love music and that they would like to work in music, but they don't know what they want to do. They don't know where they're going to end up. And they certainly don't have any friends in their area that also like music like them. They are, for lack of a better phrase, the new kid. And I want to give you some advice. If you're the new kid, check it out. Here are a few quick tips to help you get started. Okay, first and foremost, if you're the new kid, social media is your best friend. It's very easy to use Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn to figure out who works where, what they do, and whether or not they're a person that you might want to interact with. So get out there and do your research. If you're interested in any facet of music, be it production, management, publicity, musicianship, whatever, there are people out there who are talking about that topic, who are educating other people on that topic, who were considered influencers in that topic, and you can go out there and find them and begin building a network work of people that you are at least following who like and talk and possibly even work in these subject areas. The second thing that I want you to do is again, get on that research. If you don't know what you want to do and you don't know who you want to talk to, just start reading, start looking around, start reading the news, start reading holixdaily.com, digital music news, music business worldwide, billboard.com, The Verge, so on and so forth. Figure out what it is that you're passionate about, dig a little deeper, and hopefully you will find some direction in there. Next, if you find any other people that are also these new kids, because trust me, if you've just decided that you want to work in the music industry and you don't know what you want to do, there are hundreds of other people who feel that way. And if you can find them, maybe that's where your network starts. Maybe the lone wolves are your network for a little bit. Maybe that is your pack. These people who feel like they don't belong anywhere, but they belong together because they all want to help one another get ahead. That could be a beautiful thing. And you could spearhead it if you just find a way to get past your uncomfortableness in the whole situation. And finally, something that I've learned that's kind of like a trick of the trade, but it's also a little bit silly is what I like to call the Barney Stinson. And if you've ever watched the show, How I Met Your Mother, you probably already know where I'm going with this, but, but Barney in the show has a really good way 
of helping his friend Ted, who hates talking to strangers, meet women. And that is that when they're out in public, he'll just say, have you met Ted? And he'll hand it off to Ted, who then has to interact with the person that they've never met before. And that can be a, a very cruel trick to a friend who doesn't, isn't very good at networking. But there's also something to be said about just diving in the deep end. You know, like I said before, there is no pill, there is no cure, there is no trick to getting around how uncomfortable talking to strangers makes you. The only way to get ahead in networking is by doing it. So at the end of the day, whether you're a newcomer or a lone wolf, uh, a, rag, a rugged professional who's looking for their first new career in 20 years, whatever it happens to be, you just got to do it and I'm here to help you every step of the way. If you don't know what you wanna do with your career, if you don't know what you wanna do with your life, if you don't know if your music is any good, I am here to help you understand the modern music industry, and so is the music biz community. So if you haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button down below. We are bringing you content each and every week about what's happening in the industry, how you can succeed in it, and where we go from here. If you already subscribed, thank you so much for watching this video. I will be back very soon with some very exciting tech news, and until then, take care of yourself because you deserve it.